EastEnders Christmas Spoilers, Max Branning Revenge Plot Axed in Last Minute Shake Up EastEnders completely scrapped the Max Branning Revenge Plot which is set to culminate over Christmas, it's been revealed. BBC boss John York confirmed one of his first moves after replacing former showrunner Sean O'Connor was to make drastic changes to the storyline, which has seen Max take down the residents of Albert Square one by one. Sean planned to see the twist run out for a massive three years, but the action has been brought forward in what will undoubtedly go down in history as one of the of the most spectacular scenes in EastEnders history. Max star Jake Wood told press including express.co.uk, Originally I think Sean wanted it to be a three-year story. That was what I was led to believe, which was probably too long, to be fair. But all of the elements were the Wilmot Brown, Max's revenge and his unraveling, but I was never told where it was going to go. Since we got John York and Simon Ashdown back, all the elements that were there anyway, as far as I understand it, have just been absolutely ramped up, it has been a very quick turnaround. Over recent weeks, the skeletons in Max's closet have come pouring out, prompting his nearest and dearest to turn on him in air droves. However, Walford's public enemy number one found solace in his old flame, Stacy Fowler, Lacey Turner. After Max tried to strangle Ian Beale, Adam Wood Yat, with a wire of killer fairy lights, he was left with no other option but to turn to Stacy for shelter. This Christmas Day marks ten years since their first affair was exposed to the Branning clan and will see the pair reignite their romance before a fan favorite is killed off over the festive season. A string of young characters, including Lauren and Abby Branning, Ben Mitchell and Johnny Carter are all gearing up for their exits from the BBC soap, E-Soap.